Okay, so Apple has released yet another beta for iOS 15.2. Today releasing iOS 15.2 developer beta 4 now this sort of changes everything and even changes my mind as into when we can expect an official release date and i think apple is going with the same schedule as last year we'll go over some of the details of course in this video but as always if you'd like to stay up to date with the latest ios news and apple software updates don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss another episode and now just so you know obviously apple has updated all their other platforms Forms yesterday as of the filming of this video apple released mac os 12.1 beta 4 monterey for the max okay so today we see beta 4 for ios 15.2 as i mentioned 15.2 beta 4 for the ipad uh, watch os 8.3 beta 4 is now out tv os 15.2 beta 4 has now been released as well now as i mentioned it looks like apple will be using the same schedule they used last year for ios 14.3 now last year on december 2nd this year is december 2nd as well as you can see right here apple released ios 14.3 beta 3 okay so this year they released ios 15.2 beta 4 so we see a beta on the same day as last year but of course a different software ios 15 if history was to repeat itself i think we could see ios 15.2 before the holiday season and that would be perfect and we'll get to some of the details as an expected release dates the first thing i want to talk about with ios 15.2 with this latest software update of course this one here coming in at a smaller download although it is a nice size of a file so if we head on over to the latest beta right here we see ios 15.2 developer beta 4 this one comes in at approximately 600 to 700 megabytes of course i've been running this on my device for nearly an hour as it was just recently dropped by the way public beta testers you should see this populate on your devices within the next 24 hours if not sooner maybe by the time you watch this video there's a few things that still need to be addressed there's a few bugs with bluetooth some airpods connection issues also bluetooth with in-car hands-free stereo bluetooth sometimes breaks on certain devices on the latest beta of course i haven't had enough time to test this stuff of course i'll be testing so make sure to stay tuned for my follow-up video in the next couple of days where i'll be testing this beta in terms of bluetooth network connections some of the latest bugs with the auto brightness issues that some users are reporting so a lot of bugs might have been addressed with this latest beta there's also a bug within the app privacy report if we head on over to this new feature which is set to be debuting with ios 15.2 you see this share option up at the top here it just doesn't work for me for whatever reason i can click it a hundred times it's just minor things that are happening here that apple still needs to address before this software is released to the general public however i do have to say within one hour of playing around with the software i can already feel the fluidity within the software how fast and snappy it feels it's almost ready for prime time there's just a few adjustments happening here and i'm hoping that apple continues on a release schedule and as i mentioned apple could be releasing this software on the same schedule as they did last year for ios 14.3 now as i mentioned on december 2nd 2020 apple released ios 14.3 developer beta 3 and then a week later approximately on december the 8th they released an rc so if apple was to keep on that schedule this year we could see an rc for ios 15.2 as early as the week of the 6th and next week maybe on the 7th or the 8th we could see the rc and if that's the case and apple continues with the same schedule as last year we could see ios 15.2 released to everyone worldwide somewhere between december the 14th or december the 15th the following week so fingers crossed this will be a great software updates right in time for the holidays a lot of users need this software updates to fix a lot of the bugs that are happening by the way if you guys are having any issues any bugs i would like to hear all of those in the comments down below and of course as always stay tuned for my follow-up video because that's where i'll be talking about the battery performance the bluetooth issues the auto brightness issues 
issues and things that are happening within the last a couple of betas. Again, RC can be expected as early as next week, the week of the 6th. And if that's the case, we can expect an official release. And I'm hoping because I was under the impression that this software might have released, might have been released next year on January, but it would be a home run if Apple is to release before the holiday season, squashing most of the bugs and adding a lot of the great new features that are coming with iOS 15.2 because we have some great improvements. Obviously, we have the new communication safety stuff. We also have the new notification summary for the lock screen, the app privacy report. I mean, there's just a ton of new features, including digital legacy and so much more. So of course, if you would like to check out everything that's new with the software, my entire beta coverage will be linked down below. Just a minor quick update, guys. Beta 4 is out. It looks like RC, our release candidate, may be around the corner and a release date as well. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you guys on the next update. Peace.